you're trying to figure out which of your multiple choice answers represents this graph where it's all the numbers in between a 3 and a negative 5. All right, so let's look at answer A, which is absolute value of x is less than or equal to 3. So the numbers that you could plug in here, and remember, when you take the absolute value of a number, like absolute value of negative 2, that's 2. You take the positive. You think of that as how many units is negative 2 away from 0, away from distance. Distance is always positive. So this could be, this x is going to be anything in between a 3 and a negative 3. Think if you plug a negative 2 in here, absolute value of a negative 2 is 2. 2 is less than or equal to 3. But when you look at this graph, if you were to graph that, that would be every number in between a negative 3 and a 3 inclusive shaded in between. And that's not what you have here. Let's look at answer B. B is absolute value of x less than or equal to 5. That's not going to work. That's going to be all numbers in between a 5 and a negative 5. And that's not what you have up here. C, absolute value of x minus 2, less than or equal to 3. To set this up, what's in your absolute value bars, which is x minus 2, that expression must be in between a 3 and a negative 3. And if you solve this, you add 2 to everything. And that's going to give you a 5 up here. Well, that doesn't work because you've got a 3. Let's look at answer D. Absolute value x minus 1 less than or equal to 4. Set this up. x minus 1 less than or equal to 4 less than or equal to negative 4. Add 1 everywhere. x is less than. That gives you a 5 up here. That doesn't work. We need a 3. Let's look at E. It has to be E x plus 1, absolute value x plus 1, less than or equal to 4. Set this up as a compound inequality. Set it up in between a 4 and a negative 4. Subtract 1. That gives you negative 5. That looks good on that end. Less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. That's what you got right here. So your answer is E.